afternoon ladies and gentlemen I'm Midzi69 welcome back to the channel now today we are going to have a look at the Tiger P yes the Tiger P because this next update something uh, decent is going to happen with the Tiger P and that is uh, tungsten shells of course I I know I don't even know if it's true or not but on the the notes that I read uh, at the start of the the month uh, Wargaming are bringing the tungsten shells to this line. So the VK-72 uh, is also going to get the tungsten shells, which we have already spoken about. Now, it's unusual for the Tier 7 to get the tungsten shell as well. Before, we only had it with the Tier 8, Tier 9, and Tier 10. Um, or was it just the Tier... No, it was the Tier 8, Tier 9, and Tier 10. But the, uh, the Tier 7 is uh, going to get it. Now, what is this going to mean for the Tiger P? Is it going to be overpowered? Is it going to be completely broken? Or is it just not going to make a difference whatsoever? Now, of course, it is going to make a difference. Uh, tungsten Shells is pretty decent. Adds damage to your shot. And I think, honestly, the Tiger P needs something like that. The Tiger P used to be a really good tank. Now, it has always uh, competed with its brother, um, the, the Tiger 1. And I think before, when I first started the, playing the game, I always preferred the Tiger P over the Tiger 1 anyway. Uh, and mainly because of the armor profile back then was so, so good. Uh, but of course, Wargaming have gave some love to the uh, to the Tiger One, and now the Tiger One is just an insane tank. It really is a fantastic tank. Uh, but that's just left the Tiger P um, at the bottom and just left alone. And there's no point playing it. If you, you might as well go play a Tiger One. The, the armor profile is now better. The speed is much better. Uh, the DPM I think is pretty much the same. Uh, but Wargaming buffed the Tiger P and the Tiger 1 like a long time ago. Uh, they buffed its DPM and it actually made both tanks insane. It really did make both tanks insane. Uh, but they did soon nerf that. I think it was like one update or maybe two updates. They nerfed it because they kind of realized it was uh, it was too broken. Uh, but yeah, so uh, since then, the Tiger P has kind of been left alone. The armor profile is not bad in, in the right situation. Of course, when you're in a tier game like here you're not going to bounce too many shots uh, there's a lot of weak points in the front of your armor there are a lot of weak points so you do it's, it's a tough tank to play now it's not the easiest of tanks to to play and again with the tiger one being how it is uh, how it is how good it is there really is no point playing this Tiger P. Uh, but now it is getting the tungsten shells. Of course, that means the DPM will go up a little bit. The alpha will go up uh, per shot um, when you're using the tungsten shells, of course. And that will make it uh, quite solid, to be honest. That will make it uh, not... I don't. I still don't think it will be as good as the Tiger 1 because the Tiger 1 is just really good. Really, really good. Um, of course, the armor profile with uh, the standard rounds, just like the Tiger P, yeah, it... it it is it is quite strong um, but as soon as you switch to the premium round it's a very very easy easy pen uh, but the tiger p has never been a bad tank it's never been a bad tank it isn't a bad tank but i just you know with the tiger one being how it is it's just left alone and there's no reason to play the tiger p anymore uh, but that will change oh, that will change with the tungsten shells that will change and i think doing sort of 300 alpha just over 300 alpha some shots uh it will be pretty uh, pretty good for the tiger uh, for the tiger p so i think it's a good thing i think it's a good thing i, I don't think it's going to make it overpowered uh, i really don't the same as the uh, the vk72 i really don't think it will make it uh, overpowered uh, but being the only tier 7 in the game currently to have the uh, to have the tungsten shells I think it's uh, it's it's obviously it's it's different to the the other tanks in its in its tier, uh, but overall I do think it's it is needed. I do honestly think something is needed for the Tiger P, and Wargaming have decided to give it the tungsten shells. Uh, so we've just got one more battle for you. Um, let me know your thoughts. Like, do you think the Tiger P needs something? Do you think it even needs the tungsten shells? Um, I don't think it needs tungsten shells but maybe a little bit more armor frontally uh i think would be decent 
uh, but wargaming are leaving the armor as it is and we're just getting the uh, the tungsten shells just like the polish uh, just like the polish heavies is now going on to the the these heavies the the vk line so which is a good thing i like it how it's i don't think the tungsten shell uh, the 60 tp is a great tank anyway and f the, the tungsten shell is just sort of is the is the icing on the cake for for that tank um, it's, I mean, even without the tungsten shells, it will still be a good tank. Uh, but I think I like Wargaming are sort of introducing it to other lines. So it's not just the one line. Personally, I would like other things, different things. So uh, each line has its own, uh, own characteristics. Like it's not the same, um, as other tanks. And I would have liked the Polish tanks to keep the tungsten shells. And if they're going to make, if they want to make the VK 72 line different to the E100 line, bring in something new as long as it's not overpowered as long as it doesn't ruin the game then it shouldn't be too much of uh, of an issue so we're just finishing this game here you can see we we haven't taken any damage whatsoever so, uh, so far but as soon as tanks get around you uh, your front plate is kind of strong it is kind of strong especially when you are up against tier sixes it is strong when you're angled uh they they will struggle to to penetrate you unless they are switched into the apcr i mean this guy no problem whatsoever in in penetrating me um and again just like a lot of tanks i'm always trying to go in at an at an angle if you look directly at the tank, then yeah, you're going to have no. They're going to have no problems penning you whatsoever. So this game, you can see, we've only bounced 360 damage. We haven't bounced pretty much uh, anything at the moment, and uh, well, a couple of shots here. But you can see the S, uh, the LTTP in front. I'm trying to come in at an angle, and that way at least I will have a chance at bouncing uh, these tanks. But of course, you do have that hatch on top as well. So it does have a lot of weak points. It's not the quickest of tanks. The Tiger one is actually really really quick uh this is quite slow as you can see with 29 kilometers per hour now going down uh down, down a hill but as soon as you go on a straight it is around 30 kilometers per hour which isn't the uh isn't the quickest but it isn't the slowest uh but yeah the tungsten shells is just going to add something different to the tank and to the tier so let me know your thoughts in the comments below are you now going to grind the tiger p knowing that it's getting the uh, tungsten shells or do you think it's going to make a difference or do you think it's still not uh not going to change much about the tank let me know your thoughts in the comments below i hope you enjoyed the video guys i'm midzy 69 and i will catch you all soon bye bye